pam 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 la 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 Good morning, y'all. Good afternoon. Good evening to you. Welcome, welcome, welcome. You know, I did. Uh, we talked the other day about, um, you know, how these devils. Uh, first of all, good morning, good afternoon, good evening to you, whatever side of the diaspora that you may be on. Let me welcome you, welcome you, welcome you to the mental house with me, your host, Kadizi. We talked uh, a couple days ago about, uh, you know, how these demons want to uh, give a false narrative about what history is and what it was and, and they don't want uh, that 1619 project to ever see the light <laughs> to see the light of day anymore they don't want to talk to schools they don't think it's a good education tool and all it is is truth right so with that being said not wanting to um, expose the truth. It, it, it's become a real controversial issue. And with this particular... Well, well I'm just going to get into the story. And it was taken from the Daily Mail. Okay. And it's about how the residents actually in D.C. This is becoming a real problem. They're fighting in the neighborhood um, because some of the parents um, are anti what they call it um, they're, they're anti-racist parents. There's a Facebook group called Anti-Racist Parents of Loudoun County and uh, so what happens is they're, they're fighting these people in this neighborhood <laughs> that are against uh, not having the real history taught. Okay. So what's happening is Parents in the Lowndes County public school system say they are losing friends and fighting with family all over the issue of the critical race theory in the classroom. The affluent Washington, D.C. suburb is a diverse ethnic makeup, making the debate over CRT all the more contentious. A Facebook group uh, titled Anti-Racist Parents of Loudoun County is accused of targeting all the parents who are anti-ERT. And this article is by Mac McNulty um, in this on the Daily Mail. TV cameras caught the moment that a Washington, D.C. parent was flipped off by a neighbor as she explained how friends and family had turned on her because she spoke out against teaching of critical race theory in her kids' schools. Jessica Mendez, a mother of two children in the Lowndes County public school system, says she has been branded a racist after attempting to block the controversial lessons. I had my own family criticize me openly and ask me, you know, what's wrong with me? You know, why did not I understand, she told the interviewer. But during the interview, a neighbor walks past in the background and raises two middle fingers at Mendez and the camera. I thought she was a good friend, Mendez added. I'm really hurt right now because I thought I, we had a rapport that I could be conservative and she could be liberal. And we could still be friends. I guess I was wrong. Loudoun County, where the average home sells for 575000 so half a million, huh? Has found itself a divided 
amidst the nation's recent equity initiative to provide students with classes on critical race theory. When a group of parents stepped up to block from being taught to their children, they were met with intense backlash from their peers, including some who launched a Facebook group called Anti-Racist Parents um, of Loudoun County. In interviews released Thursday, several other so-called anti-CTR parents revealed how their friends, neighbors, and families turned on speaking out. Loudoun County parent and president of the um, County Republicans Women's Club Patty Higley O'Minder said that she had been targeted in the Facebook group. She said, they put three pictures of me in there and they called me a racist. They had my, my first and my last name and the name of my husband, where my son goes to high school, uh, what town I live in. They called me disgusting. Critical race theory is a school of thought that explores power structures and racial dynamics among minorities, with advocates of the concept claiming that it creates a better understanding of diversity and different cultural backgrounds amongst those who study it. Those against critical race theory have argued it reduces people to the categories of privileged or oppressed based on their skin color. With diversity sensitive with diversity sensitivity training and evolving academic curricula coming to the forefront of the nation's attention recently, the concept of CRT has become a powder keg of a theory for both critics and proponents alike. The debate over CRT in Loudoun County appears to reflect its diverse ethnic makeup, according to the Data USA report, with 55.1% being white, non-Hispanic, 19% being Asian, 8% being white, Hispanic, and 68 being African American. IT engineer Kenyan immigrant Fred Reyes lives in Lao County. Kenyan immigrant, huh? Where his two daughters are enrolled in the uh, county's public school system. Riggy said he knows of dozens of parents who, like him, agree that the school should be teaching critical race theory in the classroom. However, none of those pro-CTR parents speak up for fear of retribution, according to Range. Oh my goodness. Anyway, um, I finally got to a point where I said, my number one responsibility is to my children, says Rage. Even if it costs me certain things in society and canceling from this and canceling from that, you know, dignity. I'll have my children's dignity, you know, integrity and their self-belief, their self-beliefs in themselves intact. And that is worth it. Even if it costs me, it's worth it. Whatever. Whatever it costs me, it's worth it. As for the pro-CTR Facebook group, Menders says their intimidation tactics have actually backfired into emboldening their opposition. They tried to intimidate us by using social media, media Menders added. But I'm honest, it's emboldened my passion for more of this. Critical race theory, what does it mean? Okay. What exactly does it mean? Critical race theory. Well, let me tell you. According to this, the fight over critical race theory in schools has escalated in the United States over the last year. 
The theory has sparked a fierce nationwide debate in the wake of Black Lives Matter protests around the country and over the last year, the introduction of the 1619 Project. The 1619 Project, which was published by the New York Times in 2019 to mark 400 years since the first enslaved Africans arrived on American shores, reframes American history by placing the consequences of slavery and the uh, contrib contributions of black Americans at the center of the U.S. narrative. The debate surrounding critical race theory regards concerns that some children are being indoctrinated into thinking that white people are inherently racist or sexist. That's up to you to do explaining and showing up and defending your honor. Those against critical race theories have argued it reduces people to the category of privileged or oppressed based on their skin color. Supporters, however, say that the theory is vital to eliminating racism because it examines the way in which race influences American politics, culture, and the law. I concur. Yes, I do. I concur. And um, you can't fix what you can't face. It's not how any of this works. If you can't face it, you can't fix it. So obviously, it won't get fixed. Y'all can't face What y'all think about that? What do y'all think about this? Um, I mean, period. What do you think about what, what they call the CTR? You know, being taught. Or I say not. What do you think about critical race theories in school? And exploring the power of structure and racial dynamics amongst people. What, you know, what do y'all think about that? First of all, I don't have a problem. I don't have a problem with it at all. And I can't understand, again, why you would not... You can tell the world is changing. Why wouldn't you not want to just get it out and let's just do this? Tell me, y'all. Leave your comments below. I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.